Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I'll put out a reading. Okay, guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agum Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's get into this reading. This is a Celtic cross spread. I have your Orisha Tarot out here as well to clarify. I'm going to give a little trigger warning because I, I asked if this reading is for something happening now and I got 50-50. So for some of you, you have allowed someone to enter into your life. This is first, look, it's 50-50, but, you know, I just put out that reading about your resurrection. And here it feels like these little demonic energies will get you through your demonic ass family, friends, or a person um, that you allow to enter into your life with a very strong sexual energy, very, very strong sexual energy. Um, so if that person is, if you're aware of what I'm talking about, okay. One thing I wouldn't do is allow this person to live with you, okay? Uh, the other thing is just remove these family members and friends. So I don't know if you are aware of this or if it's happened already, but it needs to come out because this could be a situation for somebody in the future. Reason why I say is because in the last, the reading I just posted today, I told you, you're going to rise in status. And I see that you have the Empress and the star. Okay. It's this freedom, but this is also like movie star um, popularity, maybe going viral or your business gains a lot of popularity or traction. So something about what you do is going to shoot, shoot to the moon almost. Okay. But then you also, another thing telling me your status is going to be rising is the devil and the world, both Saturn energy, but this is like that 10th house energy of status, okay? Fame, status, so whether it be uh, visually, like something online or my business doing really well, everybody's into my new business, whether it be online, brick, or mortar, brick and mortar, whatever, you, you are seen, you are very noticeable, and this is gonna be an issue. OK, another and another thing that I'm seeing is like an indecision. There's some indecision around business. Two of Pentacles. So the energy you could be in right now is two of Pentacles clarified by the six of Pentacles. This six of Pentacles is like your justice. It's what you deserve monetarily. Um, this, like I say, it could be a promotion. It could be things going well, money coming in. Um, but then there's a energy of either indecision or fluctuation, all based on the decision a little bit, okay? Either you're undecided about, maybe I don't want to do this because I'm going to be really seen, like it's going to be a lot of attention on me, or the fact that this time comes in, depending on how you are willing to make certain decisions in your life, your money is going to fluctuate, all depending on what you decide to do, okay? Definitely, that's the energy around you right now. Your decisions are important because it's it, whether you decide to take a job that is um, going to pay you more, whether you decide to move. And the crazy thing is, don't base your decision off of people. Like, I really strongly feel that. Don't base it off because I started a new relationship. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I can't move because I just met him. Like, if this if the move and the money is perfect and, you know that's where I was going to go. Don't base it off of, well, I got him or her over here like that. Okay. Your money goes down then. Definitely. I see this energy is going to come in and like wreck, wreck you. It would wreck you. The reason why. So because you get all of this attention, you obviously have jealousy on the side of certain relationships. Like there's a relationship between a mother or a certain family member or a female family member, maybe, um, or a wife or something. Um, but y'all, it's messy. This is why I'm why I haven't started. This is messy. So trigger warning for the mess. All right. So, like I told you, in the energy around you right now, some indecision about what you want to do concerning 
balance coming into your life. Balance that that is deserved. You deserve this. You deserve it. All right. So I don't know what the funkiness is. Now, in your present situation, what could be trying to come near you or what is already in your energy? You have the Two of Cups. Clarify. Two of Cups in reverse, clarified by Ogun in reverse. Ogun is giving me strength energy. Um, this is a relationship that should not continue to move forward. All right. Uh, this is one of a very strong sexual nature. The fact that we have Ogun's energy here in the reverse, Ogun is a beast. Ogun is a beast. And when he is in his negative energy, he slays everything. There is nothing Ogun isn't trying to stab. Okay? Nothing he's not trying to stab. He's going to stab it all. And see, the thing is, is like this is the type of man or a woman that will get you back to back to back to back. It's like, you tired? I'm not tired. We're going to go round five. Like, that is something where if you if you like that, that's very appealing to you. Okay? And you're like, I don't want to, you know, not keep him or her around. They're, they they either match my um sex. Uh, what is that called? What is it called? My, uh, whatever. <laughs> I can't think right now. You know, like y'all on the same wavelength sexually. But, um, yeah, this, this is a big indicator too about what's going to happen. If anybody in your life comes in this way where you see like they are highly sexual, like everything is a, they, it, it's almost a ooziness of it. You know, if you got a jealous Mother, because I see this, if you have a jealous mother or feminine, um, or let's say you're a man and you have things go really well in your business, if your wife, because the feminine energy is strong, if your wife is a little out there, there could be um, an affair I see happening with a neighbor, family member, or friend. Definitely. And especially with the neighbor. Okay? Yeah. So... Right, because first position, I told you, this is the person in your energy or coming into your energy because of the status you hold. Second position, this is what favors you or hinders you. It's obviously what hinders you. Ten of Cups in reverse, uh, clarified by the Five of Fire, Five of Wands. This is a spouse, whether it's a man, a husband, or a wife, whichever, or a family member. Ten of Cups usually indicates mothers, but you know, be as bro I'm being broad with you right now. It could be brother, sister, husband, wife, whatever. It's the Ten of Cups. But they're jealous. That's what's hindering you. Holding on to a jealous spouse or a jealous family member. Okay? In your higher consciousness, you you your higher consciousness is trying to make you aware of this. You have the four of wands in the reverse, clarified by the water element. This is the second time I've seen this combination. And it's your emotions around this person. OK, that is stopping you. I had to ask, I asked, I was like, what is the emotional energy around the water element? And they told me envy. So I already told you, you are rising in status, popularity or whatever the case may be. Either the person that's coming into your life. And I do. I feel that even this highly sexed up person and these family members, these relationships, there's a lot of envy, a lot of envy. OK. So that's what that's what your higher consciousness is trying to make you aware of, because in your subconsciousness, it's the same energy. Five of swords with the seven of wands, having to defend yourself from people who are trying to do you dirty. This is do you dirt like because. Y'all like when it comes to this neighbor friend stuff is five of swords is. um. Remember, how I told you all about like uh, how um, Aries is. Um, Aphrodite's favorite dick kind of thing. Um, Hephaestus is her husband that she always cheats on. And then there's this story where Hephaestus actually catches them and like drags them out. He catches them in a net. But that energy goes with like this like sort of um, uh, this thing where, you know, everybody's aware that this is going on. You know, like the neighbor comes over to say hi. The cousin is all in your face and all this kind of stuff. All while they, everybody knows that like they're sleeping with your partner kind of thing. That's the kind of energy trying to pursue you right now. This is what I'm talking about. These like demonic ass energies and they try to come through family and sex and stuff. What this would do, you should see how this is going to affect you if you allow it to as the reading goes on. Like I just see five of pentacles and I see your energy just going down. I see you not focusing on work. Okay. 
Like, because what it feels, it feels so superficial. It feels like you reach this height and maybe you even feel yourself like the sex is really good or that's the type of body I always liked or that's the kind of man or woman I always dreamed of. Even that energy is here. The moon is here. You know, the moon is here about things I've dreamed of. Um, moon and star, like something I thought I could never have, whether that be the person coming in or you feeling that way about this person. But that is like, it's, that's the problem. That's the problem. Going for stuff you feel like you couldn't get before. And I'm not saying you don't deserve whatever you imagine, but if this looks very surface, it just looks surface and it looks petty and painful because that's the six. Where are we at? Right. I told you defending yourself against people trying to fuck with you. OK, trying to and fuck on something that ain't theirs. OK, because in the sixth position, seven of pentacles in reverse, nine of air in reverse, jealousy and all that kind of stuff. Uh, cruelty, and then both these cards indicate like neighbors, someone close to you, okay? Neighbors, fences, not good fences, right? Fences aren't good. It's the hole in the fence. Why is there a hole in the fence? Because your little nasty partner, you know, allows an opening in the fence, okay? So, yeah, right. Now, your seventh position wants you to go for the status, because this is what you deserve. Actually, this is who you're supposed to be. You came onto the on planet Earth to be a way shower, a light, something for healing. I mean, this whatever you do is healing you. It's expanding you financially, spiritually, um, your beauty. You are looking even better, right? Everything is like being, like I told you, revitalized, rejuvenated, definitely. But these energies are trying to suck it all out. They're trying to suck it away. Your, this advice is to stand out, to be the one, to focus on the career, to keep up boundaries. Saturn energy, boundaries, okay? <laughs> and then even here, in, in the unseen environment, you're the king of swords clarified by the moon. So you know when the fuck shit is up. He don't play. Oh, what? You tried to be all dark, but my intuition is really good. And not only is my intuition good, my intellect is strong. And I, I don't need you... I don't need proof to see what I see. I just know I'm going to move around this. That's what that is. Th cutting away lies, illusions, um, not needing. You don't need 100% proof because I'm trying to tell you like these. Some of these people will try to do this like right under your nose. They're trying to do this right under your nose. OK, because even here in your uh, hopes and fears, what you fear is, you know, losing attention and devotion to what you love and going back into poverty having a poverty mindset, um, sacrificing yourself or what you've been working on. That's what you fear. You know, you don't, you don't want that. Even here, the, the five of pentacles, lack came up again as the outcome. Lack and eight of cups because I returned or wouldn't walk away from what didn't serve me. I wouldn't walk away. So look, the octopus pulled me down. You got it twice in your last two positions of lack mentality or, you know, being with people because I was abandoned at one point. And this person, you know, they fuck my brains out and I don't feel abandoned when they do that kind of thing. But not only are they trying to hit you, they're trying to hit your mama, your brother, your sister, your neighbor, all of that. Like this is this is somebody out of control. Don't let them in your life. If they're in your life, you should remove them before, you know, they get to your hating ass family members who would love to do this because everybody seems to be jealous of the new status that you hold. Be careful around these people. And then too, there is some dark magic stuff here too. That could be another reason why, I don't know if the person is doing it on you, why like you feel like, Man, I can't get over, you know, them the way they do me or whatever, you know? With the devil moon, there could definitely be dark magic. If if not from that person, it's from your family members. But you know, these get these people out, out, out. All right. That's what I have for you. Um, if the reading resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. And if you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below. All right, guys, see you.